Okay, so now we have a belt on. We can hear the pulse. Oh. Okay, so you would now very. You know, she's got you know, skinny arms. So you would have to hold it like that now for till relieve or until you're at the hospital, right? So let go slowly, like you would think you'd walk to go help someone else. And immediately, as soon as you let go of that belt, so it's very temporary, the belt. It's actually worse when yeah. you let go. So now let's, so take that off, and, and let's see if you can put that tourniquet on. So you've never been trained on that tourniquet, right? Do you want me to stop here. it? No, keep going. So put, grab, get him out, put the tourniquet. So without any training, you've never seen this, the concept of this tourniquet is that it has a windlass, right? So you pull that whole strap out, because I'm holding her hand here. Pull all of it out, put it around, Good. feed it through. Okay, so take all the slack out just like you're doing. Okay, we can still hear a pulse. Now go ahead and turn the windlass rod. Keep turning until you don't, you would obviously stop bleeding. And now you see. Go ahead and secure it, so keep turning until it goes into that seat clamp. There you go. Put, put that Velcro piece above it, and then the little white tab. And we would mark the timestamp here, but obviously you can hear there's no blood here. Great job.